Hello there. Very good evening to you across the capital through today. Eventually, we did see a little bit of brightness after what was a fairly cloudy start earlier on this morning and a bit of a chilly one too. But the weather is set to change overnight tonight. The Met Office have issued a yellow weather warning for the risk of snowfall tomorrow. Could some places could be seeing one to three centimetres of snowfall. Others over the likes of the higher ground, well, above five centimetres is possible. The likes of the North Downs and the Chilterns too. Hello. Friday turned out to be quite a quiet weather day across many parts of the British Isles. Perhaps you had the opportunity to get out and enjoy some of the beauty that's widely available there across the north of England and indeed up into parts of Scotland. Morning all. It's a messy start to our Saturday morning. A combination of rain, sleet and snow sweeping its way steadily east. But into the afternoon, sunny spells and scattered showers. All the details from me throughout the morning. So there were warnings of snow and ice overnight, Louise. What did actually happen? It's happening, Charlie, but, oh, it's messy. I was hoping for pictures like this when I got home from work, but I don't think many of us are going to see it because the snow is turning quite readily to ice. The only exception, East Anglia. Look at the weather for the weekend. Lots of people uh, trying to work out how it's going to be, if they can go out for their walk. How's it looking? Well, it's snowing. There we go. That's pretty clear. <laughs> Yep, somebody's done my job for me this morning. I don't need to make a headline. The weather watchers are out there already. I'm very impressed for a Saturday morning. What's also impressive about this is that the snow is a little bit further south today. Yeah, this is Kent this morning. We've actually got some wet snow falling across Greater London as well at the moment. But pretty much what you've got at the moment, you are not going to keep for most of the day. And that, um, in terms of flask carrying, you might need it actually over the next couple of days. There's a link for you because it's cold out there. There's some wet snow around across the capital at the moment. More significant snow starting to develop across East Anglia. And this is important because this is where we're going to see the worst of the weather today. Now, parts of the UK saw snow yesterday. Some very talented people took the opportunity to release their inner sculptor. These are very impressive. First of all, that is a decent looking snowman, isn't it? Tall, thin. Now, we had a glimpse of uh, this uh, snow bikini lady yesterday and then the, uh, the Dalek as well, which is absolutely immaculate. And look at that big snowball sheep. I love it. It's gorgeous. People have been busy, uh, Louise, but is it the right kind of snow for building stuff? <laughs> Uh, not much, I suspect. And look at this. How disappointing in comparison to those uh, photos. But I love the weather watchers because they really help illustrate the story. Why am I starting with a rather overcast grey Devon? Well, here it's 10 degrees. But take a look at what's happening in Norfolk at the moment. Temperatures around freezing. It's pretty cold. And yes, there's some snow. I'm not sure you'll be able to make a Dalek with this amount of snow. But you might do a little bit later on because we are going to see snow levels topping up just a touch here. Well, look at this, Charlie. Just proof that everybody is listening out there. This is a weather watcher that's been sent in the last half an hour. It's actually from Norfolk. And I said, I didn't think there'd be enough snow to build a snowman. Well, somebody built a snowman. But I'm not fooled. Either you've got very large ivy in your garden or it's a tiny <laughs> snowman. It's one degree in Norfolk, but by contrast already, it's rain in Wales because much, much milder here. Already those temperatures sitting at nine degrees. So it's a milder story. And that is going to be the picture for most of us as we go through the day. So we have a little look. I think we're going to have a look outside, are we? Have we got... Uh, so, no, these are snow... snow uh, a snow conditions. angel. Look, someone making a snow angel. Oh, look at this. So this, this is in Stevenage. Stevenage. Yeah. Uh, Hertfordshire this morning, Claire Jones tweeted this video of her other half, apparently, making a classic snow angel. Just before... That's true. <laughs> <laughs> just before 7 o'clock. So that was... Hertfordshire, we said, wasn't it? So that was a pretty good smattering of snow there, good quality snow. But what about snow? I mean, there, yesterday, Louise, there was a lot of talk and it's going to be widespread, but I'm not quite sure how that unfolded in the end. Actually, Charlie, we, most of the heavy snow was over the last couple of days across Scotland and Northern England. And actually, it's just now through Lincolnshire, East Anglia and the South East. And already it's turning to quite wet, sleety snow and a real contrast into the afternoon. So get out and enjoy it now because by this afternoon, it will have all gone in actual fact. This is Norfolk. As you can see quite clearly, just a covering of snow at the moment. Further west, though, beautiful starts of the day in Somerset. I know it's a bit cloudy and murky, 
but nevertheless, it's mild as well. Here, temperatures 8 degrees already. In Norfolk, they're just sitting above freezing. So that does mean that this has been the story so far today. On the leading edge, as you can see, that's the snow, but turning quite readily back to rain. And already it's sweeping through at quite a pace. So we are, as we go into the afternoon, going to see quite a contrast. Real messy story to try to tell. But this afternoon, sunny spells and scattered showers. For, so if you're going out for some fresh air, hang on a bit. It'll get better.